they're in the center of the hole or the sketch and of course these two are also in the center of their sketch so now we have our frames uh, placed fairly quick I think it's important to understand that it's easy to modify uh, just through uh, some of the commands that we offer and uh, you can place different size uh, frames and of course you can set up the sketches so that the uh, frames come in on the center or on the right or top right or lower left side whatever however you want to define them now once that's done uh, I think the next thing that we'll do is look at a little bit of weldment. So I'm going to hide all of the sketches and then I'm going to right mouse button click and hide the paths. That turns off the uh, sketching information. And then we can uh, actually close the frame and as we come back to the top level I'm going to actually turn off that sheet metal part which just leaves the framework that we have. Then the next thing that I'm going to do while we're in the Tools tab, I'm going to come over to Weldment and I'm going to change this or actually mark this as subassembly as a weldment. And when I do that, it's going to add uh, some weldment features to our menu that we can apply uh, to our components. Now the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and weld these four smaller 20 millimeter frames to the larger frame. So let's go ahead and use the fillet weld. Um, I have the options dialog turned off, but you can turn this on and you can show them the different options. I set it to five uh, millimeters for its base thickness and save that as my defaults. And I also turned off the show this dialog. Now all I have to do is just identify the four frames and then right mouse button click to accept and then identify the two larger frames the 50 millimeter and then right click to preview and you'll notice that it very quickly creates uh, the weld beads around those four components and it welds them to uh, the 50 millimeter frame if I zoom up on this particular part of the frame you'll notice that the 50 millimeter kinda hangs over the edge so how do we apply weld beads to something like that well we'll take a look at just one side here I'm going to use the groove weld command change my selection to face and just select these top three faces right mouse button click I'm then going to use quick pick to get the bottom face of this vertical frame and you'll notice here is the bottom face so I'll select that bottom face and accept it it's now going to ask for one or more edges on the target face set for the top boundary I'm going to pick the outside boundary of this vertical frame and then I'm going to select the inside or for the bottom boundary I'm going to select the inside sketch and accept that. Then you'll want to come over to projection path and you'll want to change this top path to extend to surface and then also uh, same on the bottom path. When you're done if you right mouse button click you'll notice that it's going to create a weldment or a weld bead between those two faces. Now if you want you can easily add a fillet weld by changing the face and we'll just go to this face and, and it highlights in green and then let's get the outside of that so as I rotate around let's grab the outside face and then we'll accept those two faces and then in sec, um, select the top face right mouse button click and it's going to put a five millimeter bead on that. Now there's obviously other ways that you can weld this. Um, this last weldment that I'm going to create, you might not want to add this to the demo, but I wanted to do it for educational purposes and you can certainly do it if the customer asks you to do it. That way you'll know how to do it. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna, at this point I'm going to turn on and do a highlight those two pieces of frame. I'm just going to do a show only so nothing else is in the view. I'm then going to go to the chamfer command and I'm going to select the first edge key in a value of one and accept it. It's going to chamfer that edge back. Then I'm going to grab the second part you might have to use quick pick to get it and I'm going to chamfer it back one millimeter. Then what I'm going to do is while we're in the uh, frames, okay, 
So as we go into the frame, we've got these two pieces of frame here. So what we can do is, let's go ahead and turn off this one, so it's the third one there, and we're going to use the groove weld command to identify these faces. So we just basically have to step around and identify uh, these faces. You can fairly easily pick those faces. And then we're going to accept that. And then what I'm going to do is turn that off and turn the other one on. And as we roll this around, I'm going to go ahead and accept, or excuse me, identify these faces. and accept them. So now I've got the faces selected for both of these parts. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, it's asking me to uh, click on the target face top boundary. So as I do that, I'm going to select the outside of this, uh, of this particular piece of framework and I'm just going to step around and it will close it off as you step around and I'm going to accept that. Then I'm going to accept, get the inside. I'm then going to go back up to the select base face step and select the uh, select top path step and do the same on this opposite side. And then I want to get the inside. So as we move in, you want to get the inside and accept it. Once you've done that, you can click on the preview button and it's going to build a weld bead on those chamfers. chamfers. Now, remember the steps. I identified the first set of, I first actually chamfered both pieces of framework, identified the, the faces on the first uh, piece of frame, then I identified the uh, the um, faces on the chamfer faces on the second frame. I then was asked to uh, look at the target step, the uh, target uh, edges. So I did the top or the outside as the top and the inside as the bottom uh, edges for the first piece of frame. Then you have to go back to the select base uh, face step and you actually have to select the second button to select the top. Uh, pass step and go to that second piece frame and do the outside and then do the inside and when you're done it will fill in uh, that information. Now I know that's a lot um, but I did want to I did want to show uh, show that to you because I think it's important to understand how to do it and so we can do a uh, show all of our framework here and you can see uh, how easy it was to actually uh, build this uh, frame and then also add our weldments uh, to it very quickly. So with that you can turn back to the top level of the assembly and what we'll do is move on to our next uh, uh, demonstration which will be the wire harness.